It's probably our favorite tournament of the year. It's the Monster Stack, and we're on day two. Well, I'm on day two. Jonathan had a little bit of a rough run. Some of us have a bad run sometimes, but this guy's on to day two. We're gonna tell you all about it right now. So we mentioned that Jonathan didn't exactly have a good run. This hand kind of exemplifies the type of run that Jonathan had, which he's still a little bit salty about because it was less than 24 hours ago. Pretty salty. Yeah. Um, this is the worst I've run in a tournament, I think in the last 10 years. It's pretty crazy. The Monster Stack makes it easier to run bad in a tournament because yeah. you have so many more chips. So you know you keep absorbing bad beats, which is what, definitely what happened. Here's an incredible hand that happened at my table. The blinds were 15300 Under the gun, oh, sorry, the blinds were 75150 The under the gun raised to 300 Plus one, who's a new player at the table, it's his first hand, calls. This Remember is important. This. Remember, plus, plus one Plus one calls. is the player. Yeah. He calls. I'm plus two. I've got ace, jack of clubs. I call. We get like three other callers. We see a flop. flop I is, can't believe this. It's incredible. <laughs> the flop is six, six, four with two clubs. It's pretty good for us. We got overs in the nut flush draw. Under the gun, bets 300 again. Very weak into a pot of like 2,100. Uh, under the gun, plus one, he raises to 800. Okay. Now we've got, we've got a really good hand here and it's gonna look super strong if we flat. So I flat, I just call the 800. Re-raising doesn't seem like a great idea in a paired board. If he's got a hand that he's representing, he's never gonna fold anyway. So it feels like a really good spot just to call, I call. We're also very deep at this point, so it's not a problem. Everybody else folds, inclu including the under the gun or an original razor. The turn is the eight of hearts. So it brings five, seven in, which isn't great. Now, under the gun plus one checks, which is awesome. So now we definitely have a pretty clear bet, I think, where we want to increase the pot sometimes, so that way if we get there, we get more. Um, also, if he just wants to check fold, that's fine. It looks like we have trip sixes all day here, or even stronger of a hand. Our draw comes in as well. He checks, I bet 1450. Feels like kind of what you'd bet with trip sixes here, or a straighter, or full house, or something like that. He calls pretty quickly. So now I'm putting him on like pocket nines, maybe, uh, Maybe also trip sixes or something like that himself. The river is the deuce of diamonds. Seems like a relatively safe card, but it doesn't really help me. He checks again, and I think if he decided to call the turn, he's probably calling on a lot of rivers just here. Just a crappy run out now, It right? just seems like bad. I decided to check back because most of the hands that are gonna fold are hands I'm beating anyway, i.e. other club draws. Uh, the straights got there. If he's deciding to station with two knights, he may just station me on the river also. So I'm just, I just check it back, and he turns over three deuce off suit for one pair the and winner. the winner. He's like, I have a pair. And I'm like, that's good. And he turned over three deuce off suit, not the pair I was expecting. Why couldn't the five of clubs have come? Makes him a straight, makes me the nut flesh. Anyway, that was the way the whole day went. Every hand, especially against that guy, went just like that. I can take one. So Grant did make day two of the Monster Stack, as we said. Grant, yeah. tell us like the, one of the cool hands you played. I actually only had one cool hand, and honestly, I don't think I took a very good line. I think it was kind of a bad line as a bluff. Fantastic. But this very active guy opened in the hijack, and I was in the big blind. He opened a 650 at the 300 big blind. We're both very deep. I call with Jack-10 off. The flop is ace-queen-5 with two spades. I have no spades, so it's not ideal, but he bets 500 having made it 650 pre, so I'm like, well, I'm at least gonna peel. Maybe I'm gonna raise. I decide I can rep aces later a lot more easily if I just peel here and bet rivers a lot of the time, because this guy is super active. He doesn't have to have it. Yeah. I call. The turn is now a nine of clubs, so I'm open-ended, and I'm like, okay, great. I hope it goes check-check, and I either get to bet the river as a bluff or for value. Instead, I check and he bets 1,700. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I don't really have enough equity to call here, but this guy's so wide. How can he call if I race? Come on. And I, I need yeah. to have a couple bluffs here, right, Matt? I mean, well, obviously. Yeah. Have to have some. Matt Vaughn, by the way, everybody. Yeah. Matt Vaughn. <laughs> um, so I, I decide this is a good hand to have as a bluff because I can easily raise folded. It doesn't have enough equity against his range. I can also get there on the river if he just calls. So I raised to 4,500, hoping for a fold, obviously. That didn't happen. Of course he, not. he called. It never works. The river is now a nine of spades, bringing the second nine and the spades. And I'm thinking, okay, I guess I got to move in here, even though sometimes he has spades here. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just go for it. I do. I move in and he snap folds. I think I'm mostly just repping queen nine and ace nine, which makes it not a very good line. Yeah. But it worked, and I'm happy about it, because here I am on day two.
You must have like king jack of spades there or something. I don't to even have know spades? What, he, what? To have spades. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just like I don't even know what he has. Well, I think he just a has. Ace? Yeah, I think he's folding all his aces, which is part of why Ooh, I did it. He yeah. calls and then folds. Ooh, yeah, it seems so bad. Works for me. Obviously, he folded six high spades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. The board's paired. What's he gonna do? I don't know, but it worked for me. Were you filming? <laughs> it's the guy that I played the hand against. Oh, really? All right, we, uh, you saw him before. It's Matt Vaughn, poker vlogger, YouTuber extraordinaire. He's also in day two of the Monster Stack. Matt, what do you got for us? How was the day? Tell us about a cool hand. Uh, well, I did a lot of really bad stuff. I actually think <laughs> I actually think the Monster Stack was probably the worst I played all summer. Nice. And it's my first day too. You did so it. Makes sense, you know? Maybe there's a lesson, I don't know. <laughs> it's all skill. Yeah, <laughs> poker's all skill. Uh, so I, I did play several interesting hands. Uh, this one was against a player who was definitely recreational. He was drinking from like level one all the way through the day. Sounds fun. Yeah, it Perfect. was very fun. But yeah. this hand was in level two. And uh, I open at 50, 100 blinds. We're like a million blinds deep. I have, what do I even have? Pocket tens. There okay. you go. Pretty that's good hand. hand. It's good to know what your Pretty hand is. Hand. So that's good. So I raised to 300 in middle position. The big blind calls. We're heads up. I already know at this point he's a little active. He's not going to be folding a lot of big blinds. So, you know, we go heads up to a flop. I'm pretty happy about the situation. Sure. But then the board comes king, queen, deuce, rainbow. And I'm a little bit less happy, That's but, bad. but you know, still okay with it because he has every hand, basically. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I decided to check behind. Cool. Okay. Makes sense. And uh, the turn is... Another king. Good card. Yeah, and I good. was like, this is a pretty good card for me, right? But then he bets 700? 700 into like into 650 seven, or something? Yeah. No, 650? Yeah, yeah you're right. So wow. I was even less happy. Uh, that might lean me towards a call a little bit. Though. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? So yeah. I didn't say this was going to be a hand I played well, by the way. <laughs> just, just putting that out there. <laughs> so, so I do call. So far, so good. And the river is a nine. And it's just pure rainbow board. Nothing's out there. And he bets 1,600? Yeah. And I was progressively less happy throughout the hand yeah. uh, over and over and over. So when he did that, I was concerned because I hadn't really seen him bluff. He was definitely passive across the board. But I have one of probably the best hands I can have yeah. here. You blocked jack 10, too. That's I blocked good. jack 10. Uh, I blocked king 10 for whatever that's worth. Yeah. But he has a lot of kings, possible. Yeah, he has kings. So I was, I was definitely nervous. I started talking about how annoying the king was because it made me so curious. Yeah. And uh, he gave me like the best speech play in the world to let me call. Really? What did he say? He, he very quickly said, I'll show you after I said I was curious. So I'm mm -hmm. like, well, obviously he wants me to go away. Yeah. So I literally had that thought to myself and then I kept thinking about it a little bit more and a little too much more. And uh, eventually I was like, I haven't seen him bluff yet, so I'm gonna fold. So, and, so and he showed I, you? And I, and I folded and of, oh, of course, he's man of his word. He showed me. What do you he have? showed me the ace jack offsuit. Woo, <laughs> strong. <laughs> strong. So that was good. Still made day two. I, yeah, well, you <laughs> day know. Day two is in the books, anyway. But I would also like to say that I won several 20% equity type hands. <laughs> good. All in. One of them I was at risk against Barry Shulman. Nice. Uh, three hands from, Day two. So really? Yeah. So all right. Several I, I of them. It, you I won. did it right. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> hey, I did know, something right. Whatever it takes to get to day two, these guys are going on. Hopefully, we'll have an update tomorrow about how that went. We'll see.